everyone, it's Shireen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. In this video, I'm recreating this gorgeous face chart by Milk1422 on Instagram. I was introduced to this artwork by Katie, aka Lusterlux, here on YouTube, and I instantly fell in love with this artwork and was inspired to recreate it. I have a lot of fun creating this look because it's so creative and fun. I love how it's so glowy and it has these colorful freckles going on. It's just beautiful. I'm so in love with the way that it came out. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching and we'll get right into it. To start off, I already moisturized my face using Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. Then, I'm stippling Origins Stay Tuned Foundation on my face and blending it in with my Morphe Powder Brush. With liquid foundations, it's best to shake them before use to give you a flawless finish because the pigments can settle to the bottom of the bottle. I'm priming my eyes with Urban Decay's Primer Potion and setting it with Kinky from the Urban Decay Smoke Palette on a Morphe Oval Shadow Brush. I'm taking Madabelle Ipsy by Colourpop on a Morphe Deluxe Blending Crease Brush and blending it out on my crease. I'm taking Ipsy and Fleet by Colourpop on a Morphe Concealer Brush and packing it all over my lid. You'll notice I'm using a concealer brush because, frankly, it works. Just because a brush's name implies it should be used for a specific product doesn't mean you can't use it for other purposes. Next, I'm taking Stay Golden by Colourpop on the same Morphe Oval Shadow Brush from earlier and smoking out my lower lash line. I'm extending it slightly up to my inner corners, but not going in all the way. I'm also softly winging it out. I'm going back in with Ipsteron Fleek for my inner corner highlight, and then darkening my crease and outer V with Mount About Ipsy. I'm using that soft wing I created as a general guideline for where to extend and blend out my crease color. I'm taking Colourpop's Gel Color in Swerve and applying it to only the inner and outer third of my waterline with a Morphe Angle Liner brush. I'm skipping the middle because I'm going in with this deep purple called Rockstar from Urban Decay Smoke Palette on a Morphe Mini Concealer Brush. Next, I'm curling my lashes and applying several coats of my current favorite mascara, Urban Decay's Perversion. Y'all already know what applying mascara looks like, so we're just gonna skip straight through me looking like I'm spazzing and go right into me looking like Count Olaf. I'm whitening my brows with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and that's it, you're done. Count Olaf would be so proud. JK y'all, I'm using this as a base for a pressed powder, I'm using a schoolie to distribute the product out and repeating these steps to make the white more opaque cause your girl got dark brows. Don't worry if you accidentally get white on your brow bone, you can blend it out with your fingers. My camera didn't record this part, but I went over my brows with Stay Golden by Colourpop on a small angle liner brush, and I'm going over it with Rimmel's Pink A Punch Lipstick on a Morphe Lip Brush. I'm heavily applying Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in Party on a Morphe Bronzer Brush to my cheeks and dusting it on the tip of my nose. I'm darkening the tip of my nose by making a heart shape with Colourpop Stay Golden on a Morphe Oval Shadow Brush. I'm contouring with Chisel from Tarte's Pro Glow To Go Palette on a Morphe Deluxe Shadow Brush, starting right under my brows and taking this down the sides of my nose. I'm also packing this on my Filtrum aka above the cupid's bow and contouring my lips. It's okay to be a bit more heavy handed than usual with this because this look is very exaggerated. I'm dotting Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes and on my forehead and blending it out with a Morphe Pointed Foundation Brush. I love that this brush is tapered because it helps me get in the inner corners more precisely. I'm adding a couple more dots so I can make a V shape under my eyes to balance up my face and I'm pressing some of the excess on my chin. I'm setting my face with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder on the same Morphe Pointed Foundation Brush starting with under my eyes so they don't crease. I recently switched over to this powder from the Tarte Smooth Operator Setting Powder and wow, this stuff is like magic. I can instantly see it mattify my skin and it has this blurring effect where it smooths out any harsh lines on my face. I totally understand why practically every YouTuber is obsessed. I'm going in with this white cream paint from Rupees. I got it at Target during Halloween, and I'm creating white dots on my face with an actual paintbrush. The consistency of this product isn't the best, and I'm tapping it on and gliding it on, following the natural direction of my brow hairs instead of simply brushing it on to get the best opaque effect. I'm repeating this to make the whites pop. I'm creating a line above the heart shape on my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and on the lines above my cupid's bow. Then I'm making a large dot under my brows and smaller dots on my nose extending up toward my brow. I'm highlighting a gleam from Tarte's Pro Glow To Go palette on a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush and extending this in more than usual. I'm also dusting it on my nose, cupid's bow, and chin. I'm going back in with the white cream paint and making dots around my eyes while using the original drawing as a reference. 
I'm gonna be jumping back and forth because I am a creative person and that's just how I operate. Go with a V flow. If you look at the original drawing, parts of the lip are darker and the rest is lighter with highlight lines on top, so I'm just mimicking this by lining parts of my lips using the NARS lip pencil and Cruella, and then filling them in with Rykujian. Probably just butchered that name, sorry! I'm also using this color to slightly overdraw my lips to make them look more plump like they are in the drawing. I'm darkening the red outlines and adding white lines to create the highlight effect. I'm also feathering out the white on the outer corners of my lips. I'm going in with Clueless by Colourpop on a Morphe pointed liner brush and adding more dots on my face. This really makes the whole look come together. Honestly, these colored freckles are my favorite part of the look. They are so cute! I'm applying Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara on my lower lashes. I do this last after my under eyes have time to set in order to prevent transfer under my eyes throughout the day. I'm also adding a few more coats of perversion on my top lashes and going over the outline on my lips with a Morphe lip brush because hashtag perfectionist, hashtag creative people problems. Now, you could stop here, but I'm adding something extra to the look. I'm applying blush on my clavicles, aka collarbones, shout out the human anatomy class that I never took. And then I'm adding two rows of three dots in an arrow shape on both sides. And voila, all done. So that wraps it up for this face chart tutorial. If you love this look, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what looks you'd like me to recreate next. I had so much fun recreating this one and I would love to create more face charts in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Get that glow. Get that glow. Can I just look like this every day? I am obsessed. Obsessed.